Thanks for joining us again today on today's lecture, which is extending life rays schema. Today's module objectives are going to be learning how to extend life rays data models by adding custom attributes to them and understanding the life ray expando API virtual data model. We're going to introduce some custom fields. We're first going to start by looking at some of the use cases for extending the life ray schema. Some examples of this, adding an identification number for the user model, adding an author field to the page layout model, or adding a custom LDAP mapping attribute to the user group model. Some custom fields can be added to the existing data models. For example, your user model or uh, maybe your web content model. Uh, this is supported with all the portal assets, and all of these can be managed within the control panel. Some of the portal assets supporting custom fields are listed below. That'll include things like the blogs entry, documents, message boards, roles, sites, and users. Some of the custom field features will include things like being typed, being searchable, being cacheable, being permissionable, automatically adding to the asset editing views, being accessible from free marker and velocity templates, and being supported in the life tag libraries. The next section is going to be dynamically adding custom fields with the Expando API. So the Expando API is the underlying API for all of these custom fields. And custom fields is just another name that we give to our Expando fields. These allow you to create virtual tables that aren't related to any existing model class. So some of the use cases for using the API directly might be things like custom field synchronization for different portal environments, for example, production or QA, or populating a user custom field with data from LDAP at login time. We have an Expando data model, which is a virtual data model, and it has a few entities attached to it. Those are going to be things like Expando table, Expando row, Expando column, and Expando value. Expando table usually represents a virtual table definition for a model class. And these Expando tables are bound to the model class by the class name ID. Expando columns usually represent a column definition in a virtual table. Uh, name is going to be the custom field name here. Expando rows represent a data row for a model instance. And these are bound to a model instance with the class PK or the class primary key. And Expando value represents a custom field value for any asset instance. These are bound to a model instance with the class primary key as well. Taking a look at this table, we can kind of see a uh, logical architecture for what we've been talking about. So an Expando table has a bunch of Expando columns connected to a bunch of Expando values. Each of those Expando values represents a row. Each of the custom fields is represented by a column. And these are all tied to a model class by a primary key. Some of the Expando services that are available include these below. Expando tables, Expando columns, Expando rows, and Expando values all have a local service and a service attached to them. Here's an example of creating an Expando table. What we have here is a method called get Expando table ID, and we're going to create a null instance of Expando table. We're going to try and retrieve a default table, and if it doesn't exist, we're going to go ahead and add that default table. At the end, we're going to return that Expando table that we just created or retrieved. For setting an Expando value, we have an example below. Again, we have an add Expando value method that takes in an HTTP servlet request and a value. And here at the bottom line, we're going to add that value using some of the parameters and variables that we've established at the beginning of the code. That's going to be including things like class name ID, Expando table ID, Expando column ID, the class primary key, and the actual value. To show a value in the user interface, we can do something similar to what's shown below. We have a liferay UI tag that takes the custom attribute list. We're going to specify a class name. In this case, it's user.class.getName, and a class primary key, which is our user ID. Uh, this tag alone should be able to uh, access that value that we've just set. In summary, the Expando virtual data model has four entities. The Expando table, the Expando row, the Expando column, and the Expando value. The local service variant is for privileged access without access control.